It's a trap! Oh! Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army and Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World and what we're checking out today is trap tunnels. Now I want to do just really basic trap tunnels. There's some great complicated guides out there which are fantastic, which are really worth looking at if there's something that you do already or something that you're already comfortable with. But there's a lot of people, when I've been doing the Plankton missions, especially when we've been farming and we've been looking for certain things, I tend to find that in Plankton people don't really build them very much and they're super effective and can make your missions quicker and much, much easier. So stay tuned and let me show you how to make the most basic trap tunnels when you're doing your missions. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys in Plankton then. So we're going to do this one. We're just going to do a nice, a nice easy solo uh, Atlas mission, if you like, in Plankton. Because I'm looking more at the actual builds and the shapes that we're doing on this video, rather than the actual effectiveness of the traps and things like that. So let's jump in and just see how effective they are. There is a mini boss in this one, but we should be absolutely fine at the level that we're at. Okay, so you start with your basic pyramid build once you've found your Atlas. Just make sure it's kind of clear around it. And then what you want to do is you need to know now which way the husks are coming from. So looking at the map there, we can't really tell. But if we put our first lot of blue glow into there, so let's just put that in. There we go. Now what we've done, all that does is place the atlas down. So nothing's going to actually happen just yet. But what it does do, if you press M on the map now, look, you've got these purple tunnels. So I know that they're going to come from this side. And then I also know that they're going to come from that way as well. So they're going to come from these. You can usually see the tiles, look. So you can see that they're there. So they're going to come around here. Now, the problem with this one is they might actually make their way through this way and break through this. So I kind of want to start my trap tunnel kind of here. You know, so I kind of want to filter them across to the way that I want them to go. So this is where I want them to actually be. Now, I've left this bit open because they might break through this wall here in order to get through. And that's fine because once they've actually broke through this wall and it'll slow them down, they're going to come through here as oh, well. For husk's sake. <laughs> All right, so we'll put the ceilings up as well. Smashing. And I usually put one just outside there. You don't have to do this one. What you can do is you can actually just attach walls like this just to slow them down so that the husks have kind of got to weave their way in and out of the thing. Now, another one that you see a lot of as well, and then it's perfectly viable, is you put two little walls down like this. So you just make this little shape here look. Just again, so they've got to kind of weave around, and it's just something that's a little bit more difficult for them to get through, and the husks aren't going to have an easy ride of it. Now, once you've done that, I tend to go with spike traps on the floor. And you can use whatever traps you want, really. I tend to think spike traps, just because it's just pure DPS that you get on there. Um, also, as well, what I may do... See, I'm leaving this one open, because this is going to be part of the entrance way. Because if they do come through this way, what I'm going to find is they're going to break through here. So if they come through this way as well, you can do that. Now, if you look, don't forget, these wall darts fire three tiles. So if you put this here, this is actually going to fire out one, two, and three. So it's actually going to hit husks. That are out here as well. I think it triggers on two, but it's going to fire all the way out here. And it does fire through walls as well, which is absolutely useful. Some people use the wall dynamos. You know, these are the most common. I don't tend to use these as much. Uh, I think the wall darts are just way, way better. Uh, but it's totally down to you, you know, what type you use. Now, if I leave this like it is now, the husks are going to still come around here. And they're going to go here. Because it's an easier way to get to the base. So we've still got to close a lot of this off, which we're going to do any second now. In fact, I'll show you. We've got some husks coming up. So if we just go into the trap tunnel, and we just look. Now, I think they're going to come after me, which is why they're coming through the trap tunnel. But you should, or you could, have some that go around here. All right, she's just going to stay there and cause me problems, but that's okay. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about doing these walls up at all. You know, if they break, they break. But personally, like I said, I tend to prefer wall darts uh, over the actual dynamos. But I completely, you know, dynamos are workable. You know, you can work with dynamos. Uh, and usually put another one at the end of the trap tunnel there. We'll put another one here. So that is now our trap tunnel. So there's two ways into it. If they break through this wall, which they very much could do, then they're going to come through here. Because then what they're going to have to do is come in a wide arc around here and go there. Now, can we get a trap on the floor there? Maybe we should. Let's put another trap here just for when they come in. There we go. And we'll put another spike trap down there. Okay, so what also works well is the gas traps as well. So if you put the gas traps as they come in, you know, so they're actually going through gas traps all the way there. We've got a 25 thingy trap there. I don't know why. But just put these going through. Do you know what? I'll just put that there anyway. 
But yeah, the gas traps tend to work really well. So there you go. So now you're capturing most of these that are going to come from this way. But they're still this way as well. Well, the best thing to do with that is just build a separate tunnel. You know, just to kind of work out where the pathing's going to be. And if you would kind of do it like this, so we can put a little wall up here as well. And we just kind of have it so we're covering every angle that we possibly can here. Just make it so there's no point to come through here, because it's too much. Okay, a husk will usually take the easiest way that they can to get into the base. So actually what you want to do is, for those that do tend to go around, and they will, so you will have some that do go around, they're either going to go in through this trap tunnel here, or they're going to go in this way here. Doesn't really matter either way. Now if they come around this corner, which they're unlikely to do, husks will usually walk three tiles, usually, as I said. Doesn't always work like that, I've found. I've watched a lot of guides on trap tunnels, and things like that, but they don't always walk the three. So sometimes they'll just come around the corner and just start hitting this wall, despite what they're supposed to do. You know, it won't always go the way that you want it to. But what the way I tend to do it is, if you tend to work on a rule of three, then you'll tend to not be far off. So let's just put some spikes down in here. Okay, and I'll use the spike traps in there. Now, I've done the three tiles, because it'll get all three of these across here that way. I'm going to put spikes there as well, so it'll get the approaching husks that come in. I'm going to put spikes there, so it's going to spike all the way down here, because that's my three. And the wall dynamos, I'm just going to pour. I'll put them on here. Again, usually if I'm in a mission with you, you won't see me using mm -hmm. wall dynamos very often. Uh, I'm not a huge, huge fan of them, but I understand them. I get it. And then we'll put another one there, and then we'll put our gas traps up there as well, like so. So, there we go. So, any husks now that are going to come out of this spawn point, that's where they are going to go. Now, you might have husks that come down, you know, that go down this way. You've got to be mindful of that and break their way through. But no husk is going to go all this way around. There's no point for those to do that. They're not going to try and break that wall. It's very unlikely they're going to try and make it this way. Now, they might aim for that wall. They could do. But do you know what? While they're going for that, they're nowhere near my atlas, which is over here. They'll tend to go towards the atlas, which is this way. So this should be an effective trap tunnel against everything on this side. So we're absolutely fine on that side. So let's go and check out the other side now then. Don't forget, there's lots of ways you can do this, so this is a basic guide. Now, we need to find the other spawn point, so let's go and have a look at that. Now, there's a building here, so they could come either side of the spawn point. So, this is where the next lot are going to spawn. Right, so here we are. So, you're definitely going to have some spawning around both sides. So, you're going to have some spawning around this side, and you're going to have some spawning around the other side. So, we need to make sure we're prepared for both. Let's just take out this encampment then. If we can. We should be way. able to. We've got a walloper and everything. Okay, there we go. I feel accomplished. Oh. Okay, maybe not. See ya, Sado. Don't die. Alright, we should be fine. We're in plankton, for God's sake. This should be fine. Right, we're alive. <laughs> okay, made that way more difficult than it needed to be. But there's a reason for that. So what we needed to actually do is we need to make sure that we're covering this angle for when husks come around this side, which they are definitely going to. Just break that up. Right, so husk's gonna come from around this side, so we need a trap tunnel down here and around the other see. side as well. So if we just get the floor done like this. Now they shouldn't spawn around the other side. We should be we should be fine here. But we could do a double trap tunnel, I guess. Do you know it won't hurt to do a double one? If we just put the walls up like this. And they should mean now they're not gonna jump down there, and if they do, then good luck to them. <laughs> So let's put these up here, like so. Now, we shouldn't have too much issue here. Now, if you make the husks walk too far, they just won't do it. So you need to be really mindful of how far you're going to make the husks walk here. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to put a two up there. And now, they're definitely going to come through there, I would have thought. And I'm going to make this wall so that they have to actually squeeze through again. Okay, if I actually press the right buttons, that would be good. So move that around there. So now already when they come out of here, they're going to come into this trap here and they're going to weave around. You've got to be careful. This may be too close. If you build it too close to where the actual spawn point is, this will just explode when they first spawn. But hopefully they're going to try and come this way and that should be absolutely fine. Do you know what? I'm just going to put walls up here. I don't think we need a two. I think this way should be absolutely okay. All right. So let's put the, uh, let's put the floor traps down in here then. So this is what we're going to do here. Look. Now, what you can do as well at the end of the trap tunnel, if you want, and you need to be careful to avoid, like, smashes. Now, what you can do is put, like, this kind of thing at the end. Now, they'll still come through here. Do you know, they just won't hit this wall. They'll just filter out here instead. 
and they'll, you know, then they're going to head towards the actual base, but that's fine, that's okay. We don't mind that, so, and then what we also want on the sides as well, again, I go for wall darts. The wall darts that you put on this wall here will go through the stairs. Okay, we've got a friend. Just dealing a bit of death. There we go. So this, oh. these wall darts here will actually fire three tiles through the stairs. So they'll fire this tile, this tile, and this tile here. Now let's just put some more dynamos down as well. And then we'll just put, just for good measure, we'll put some uh, wall darts down that side. We've got a friend there, look. And put wall darts there, wall darts there. I mean, you can if you want. I mean, you can put, you can put them wherever you want. I mean, you can put wall dynamos uh, on the smaller walls if you want. So now they're going to spawn here and now they're going to walk through this way. And look, if you saw that, they're going to get zapped. And they can come in and out of it absolutely fine. Smashes won't charge this wall here either. So you should be absolutely safe there. And then they're going to come, they're going to filter out to here. Then the next section, if you remember, we had the other side of the building. Which is here. Let's do a double, let's do a double on this side. Just because we've not got one done yet. So we'll make this one a double trap tunnel. And we actually want it so that they're going to have to, like, walk around to get to us. Now, this might push him down the other tunnel instead. I don't know. But just to make it a little bit more difficult for them, what you can do is just make it like... Oh, god damn it, with the building. You can tell I'm not a BR builder. Right, so you can kind of do it where it's like this, you know. So they've kind of got to, like, filter through if you want. It'll just slow them down when they're coming through the actual thing. Okay, we've also got down here to take care of as well. Now, I'm pretty certain these ones will just come up the hill and they're going to go through here. But let's just make sure of that. So let's open this up for them. You want to give them the easiest route they can possibly get to your got? base. Okay, we've got to throw her. Let's just get rid of her. Now, this is fun. Okay, so let's just put some traps in here then. There you go. So if you look now, the only way through here, if they're going to come, is through this little alcove here. Now, they can get straight through uh. there, so what we can do there... Shouldn't really get smashes at this kind of level, but we're going to do it anyway. But just make it so it's kind of tough for them to get through, just so that it's not easy for them to kind of make them walkways through. This one, for example, probably would be better like this. Just so they've got to kind of walk around. And then you can put in, if you want, again, you can put wall dynamos in there. If that's your thing. Again, I prefer the wall darts, so we'll put wall darts in this one. Okay, I've just put some low-tier electrical traps there on the top as well. So they'll come around this way. And then what we'll also do as well, we'll just build a wall. Up here, just to make this kind of a less viable option for them. Okay, so if they're down here, look, they can, I mean, they can try and get up here and break through that if they want. But what I would do with that one is just put the zappers up still. Then if they do come up here and start trying to break through this wall, they can do. But all they're going to do is end up in the actual trap tunnel itself. We'll put two more spikes on here. You can also probably put some ceiling traps up as well. Okay, you don't really need to do the walls up or anything like that. So there we are. So this is spawn point number one then. So the husks could actually come through the building as well and just start breaking the way into here. But again, what you all you want to do, just make it so that it's not the best option for them. Just make it so that they've got a far, far easier way by going through your actual trap tunnel. So that should be enough, I think. We'll keep doing a tour as we're doing it. So I'll kick the mission off, and then what we'll do, we'll see where they go on. Now this is tough because it's right at the back of a building, so it does always make it a little bit tougher. But if they've got a way to walk through, what you'll find is a lot of the time, that's the route that they will take, and they will do it. So that's trap tunnel one. Trap tunnel two is over this side. You can use the little thing that we've got going there. It's also good for getting on top of trap tunnels if you need to get around places as well. Uh, this place is kind of redundant. We don't really need that. And then what you've got on here, I mean, you, you can filter the, the husks out so they have to walk around if you like. But they'll usually start attacking walls. Make it nice and easy for them to actually get around. And then what they'll do, they'll just come out here and they'll start heading for the base. Now, just in case these ones get to the base, which they could.
Okay, so just in case any husks do get near the base, which they absolutely could, or they get through the trap tunnels that we've built, or the trap tunnels that we've built fail, then what we've actually done here is just built another section one. What we're going to do is there. It just means the husks have got to kind of filter through again. And we just don't give them an easy way in. So if they do get through the tunnels that we've built, so we know that they're going to spawn from these purple clouds over here. So if they do actually get through... Then they've got to get through there. Exploders are always going to be a problem. So make sure you take those out because they're going to cause you no end of issues. And then if you look around the other side, we've got the other one. Now we have got a spawn point here, look. So what we could get is husks coming down this way. Just try and cover all your angles if you can. That's like the best way to do it. And if you think there's a place where they could come to, you know, just make it difficult for them. You know, just try and cut off their actual options as to where they can actually go to actually get through. Okay, so that's everything then. So I think if they come through, I think we've got every angle covered. As I said, don't forget, I'm using a low-level character here because I've not, I've not leveled up Machinist Harper yet. And I'm in Plankton as well. This is more just to show you the actual shapes of the build and how it actually works. So let's actually start the objective off then. That's enough blue glow. And then we'll just go and watch some trap tunnels because I think that hopefully that's all we're going to have to do. We might have to hit a few off the actual base itself. But let's actually just go and watch, you know, what's going off there. You got this, Put that on commander. there in case we fall down because we probably will. And you don't want to be stood in front of the trap tunnel. So if you are doing it, don't stand here. It's a mistake a lot of people make. You're going to get frustrated with that. Just go back and just have a look which way they're going to come through. And we can just sit at the base now and kind of look to see if anything does get through. So looking at the minimap, a lot of them are dying in that tunnel there. Look, so if you look, they're just disappearing off the minimap. Then if we look at this side as well, it's always worth going to check your trap tunnels out. Look if they're working. Are they going through the tunnels? Yep, they're working absolutely fine. So they're going through there as well. I've missed uh, I've missed the dart trap there. Let's put that on. There we go. So we've not actually seen anyone out of the Atlas just yet. Because they're just hitting the traps all the time. And a lot of the time if you want a solo emission at a lot higher level. Make sure that your traps are up to the right level. Use these kind of techniques. And you can do it a lot. If you want to see someone who's great at doing that. Uh, I watch a lot of David Dean doing things like that. Now look. If we've got a smasher. Okay, now, if you're, only, if you're on the right level, if you're on... My traps are level 82, so they're going to take down that kind of smasher. But if the smasher was heavier and he could have got through, then this is kind of where you want to be fighting, like the smasher kind of here, rather than actually on the other side. Let the traps do all the damage to them first, and then let them actually get through and do it that way. So these are quite... They're not really complex trap tunnels at all. Like I said, if you look at these ones, you've got the spikes going out there. Nothing's really going to be getting through. Let's go on this building and let's just go and have a quick look. Okay, I can hear a smasher, but you know what? I'm confident in the traps that we've built. So if we actually go down here then and look where they're going. Some have been going this way. It looks like we've got a trap missing on the floor there. But they're not actually ever going to get through. They're going to be stuck all the time. Look, we've got some that got pretty close there. But we've got six minutes of just waiting and watching traps. We can always put new traps back up if the ones that we've got break. But we should be more or less, more or less safe. So let's just keep on watching this. But this is this is important. That's, that's what you've got to do. If you look at the map and look at the shapes, I've kind of got the atlas blocked off where the purple uh, where the purple haze bits are. So things like that as well. Things like blasters. It is tempting to stand here and just shoot through at the blasters coming oh, through, what? or to shoot through at like the gunslingers like this. But there's no point. Look, this blaster here. You know, if he was coming through, I actually want to be out of his way. I want to stay out of line of sight of him. And just stay here and let him come through the tunnel. He's not going to shoot at nothing. So he's not going to come through the tunnel unless he can... Well, he's not going to fire unless he can see me. Same with smashes. Mm -hmm. Don't fire at smashes thinking you get a bit of a head start uh, on the damage on them. Let him come through the tunnel. Then start doing the damage on him then. That's the best way that you can possibly do it. Kind of got a redundant trap tunnel there. It's, it's bugging me. We'll just put that on there. <laughs> but yeah, so looking at the minimap, I mean, not much going off. They're all just basically walking into the traps. That is all they're going to do. And you're going to spend your entire time 
just watching trap tunnels. A lot of the time, when you're, uh, when you, if you're in Plankerton now, when you're going to do this method, what you'll actually be doing is fighting in here. But let them through, do you know, fight them in here. So fight them as they come through. And then also here as well. Fight them on the top. One of my, do you know, one of the worst places that you could fight in a trap tunnel like this, I'm going to take you to the spot here, is here. This is the worst place you can stand and fight. Because the traps aren't doing the damage, you know, you're going to be wasting ammo a lot of the time as well. So you're not going to be able to actually get through. It's just going to be a problem a flock, all the time. So what you need to do is actually stay inside the trap tunnels to actually make the husks come through them. One thing I see a hell of a lot as well is when you've got a trap tunnel, Can't. people doing this. You know, that is so frustrating when people are doing that. Because all that means is now the husks aren't going to come through your trap because there's no way through. You know, so although husks are meant to be probably come across hey, as low intelligence, so there's not a lot they're going to be able to do. Oh, and there we go. Now we've got a boss coming through, look. But I do want to let him go through the traps. He might be trap vulnerable, he might not. So look, let him come through the traps. Let the traps do the work. Uh-uh. And that's it. And then you do your work from there and take him out that way. Never get between a lady and her tools. So that's it. This is where you want to be Husk. fighting. Out of the out of the line of sight of the traps. So you don't want him to be able to see you through the traps. But you do want them to be able to actually come through them and kind of aggro. So Sorry. this is where you should be fighting. Let's do the walloper. That's what we do, right? And there you go. Nice and easy. All right. Again, this is a lot lower level than what I normally am. So not one to worry about on that front. But nothing should actually get through. I'm just going to cover that up because I don't know what that is coming through there. Let's make it a bit more difficult for him as well. But while ever you're in line of sight, that's when they're going to attack. If they can't see, do you know what you're going through? I mean, you could put another wall up there. That wouldn't even hurt. Just so that they've got to come around again. And again, no line of sight. Just stops the propaners as well. Do you know, but just try and block off line of sight as much as you can. So they actually have to go through the traps to actually get and they can't actually see you. That's probably the best way to do it. Look, that blast is going to cause no problem because he can't see and he's just going to walk through all the traps. Perfect. Who's next? So if we look at the minimap at the top then. You've got him coming through in droves there. Dead, 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 dead. And as I said, this video is, is more about the actual shapes of it. I think I've got one inside. Have I got someone inside? No, it's working fine. It's doing what it should. Okay, so look, even the propane guy there. Now, he might, he might throw the propane because of where I'm stood. If I go out of his line of sight, let the let the trap do its work, look. Takes him out, and the propane's right there. No damage. Another one there as well. Another propane. Now, I'm stood in a bad place here because he can see me. He might throw that propane towards us. So, get out of the way. So, propane management <laughs> is, definitely a, is definitely a thing. Well, a lot of these aren't even getting through the main traps. 30 seconds left to go. So, this is the worst place. You don't want to be fighting from here. And you will see a lot of people doing that, you know, you'll have to ask people to move. Just don't get frustrated, you know, as long as you know the, as long as you know how the traps work and you know how they're set up, then you should be absolutely fine. Now, I'm building all this on my own. You wouldn't normally need to build this much stuff all by yourself. Do you know, a lot of the time you might just build one tunnel, you know, and something like that. You wouldn't need to build this many. But, you know, as a work in progress, just to show you guys some actual shapes... And how to block off an actual atlas. That's kind of it. That is all you would need to do. And that's all the shapes that you need. Alright then guys. So I hope you guys found that useful. It is more for the newer player. As I said, if you're an experienced player, you'll probably know how to do that. To block off an atlas. And to actually make the trap tunnel so that nothing comes through. But that's a simple way to do it. Do you know, a nice easy way to actually put some traps down. I have got the extra trap damage there. Because I'm using Machinist Harper. I was in a lower level area. But as again, it was more about the shapes. And actually showing you where the husks go through. The path of the husks as well. And I didn't want to be doing that. If I'm having to concentrate uh, in a level 70 area, for example. Or in a higher level area. Then it's a lot harder to actually talk at the same time so hopefully that's been helpful to you guys and you'll be able to actually get through some trap tunnels that way as well okay then guys if you're not part of the latana army already make sure you hit that subscribe button i'd love to hear your comments down below as well do you know if you want to add to this or put anything different in there do you know make sure you comment down below i do love feedback as well as long as it's constructive then feedback away i'll let you guys write as much as what you want and i think it's absolutely fantastic when you do because it helps out other new players as well when i'm looking at guides online and i'm looking on youtube guys one of the things that i do i watch the video and then i will go down through the comments as well because it usually means i'll find some little gems of information in there that'll help out but you know you guys could be that gem of information put some put some info down below as to what you would do you know i didn't use the electrical ceiling traps they can be quite good if you get in large areas so if you're building a trap tunnel that's three wide then using the electrical traps on the top on the actual ceiling works really well i mean i'm a big fan of gas traps and wall darts they're my main things because if you're going to level up your traps as well try and pick 
say like one of each trap. So try and pick like a floor trap, a wall trap, and a ceiling trap, and try and get ones that work together. So something like, you know, for example, spikes, a gas trap, and wall dynamos, or wall darts, and just, just level up those three first, as high as what you can. You know, so if you're in Stonewood, take these up to level 10. If you're in Plankerton, take your traps up to level 20. Canny Valley, take them up to level 30. And then when you hit Twine, you should know what you're doing by then, and you'll know exactly what you're leveling up and what you're not leveling up. But if you do it that way, this is the ceiling zapper that I've got. So I'll just say that again. If you're in Stonewood, up to level 10. If you're in Plankerton, then up to level 20. If you're in uh, Canny Valley after that, then go up to level 30. And then after that, you can do whatever you like. It'll come up on here, like power level 82 when you get to level 30. I think it's 50 something when you get to 20 and so forth. But just do it that way. That's the best way to do it. And just have three good traps what you can put in your tunnels just to help you with the husks. Okay then guys, massive, massive thanks for watching that. If you're not part of the Latana army, hit that red button as you leave and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching this one guys. It's a trap!